one getting started. Let me show you what the final product of this uh, code tutorial is going to look like and you'll see what you're going to get yourself into today. So you see you have a player at the bottom. The player is controlled with the left and the right arrows. Now the player is a deer and the deer wants to eat the acorns and at the same time the player wants to avoid the falling hunters. And so if you hit the hunter it's that noise and you lose a life, etc, etc, until until the game goes on. And you notice that it stops over at the right side. Uh, we can do some other things like bouncing, but that's basically what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to start out just doing some primitive shapes. These are going to be circles and are basically probably squares uh, falling down and we'll go through step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so part one, uh, basically what we want to do, we just want to really get the screen set up. Okay, and so what we're going to be doing with this tutorial is we're going to be using the turtle module. The turtle module is actually really, really useful. Um, if you've ever done like turtle graphics, you know you, know you can make the turtle move around. Uh, but we can actually use it for simple games, as you can see here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the main window. So I'm just going to call it WN equals turtle.screen. Now notice screen is capitalized. Okay? And we need to give the, it a title. And I'm going to call this Falling Skies. And Tokyo EdTech is my Twitter handle. Oops. And say win dot. We'll give it a background color. We'll start with black. That's, well, yeah, it's big green. Green's a nicer color. And we need to. What else do we do with the background? Let me check. Sorry, I'm going to cheat over here. Uh, yes, we need to set it up. So win.setup, and what we're going to do is we're going to make the screen 800 and by 600 pixels. Okay, so now what we need to do, is, well let's see, I'll run that and show you what's going to happen if I don't do it the right way. So I'm going to run this. Now I'm using Visual Studio Code on a Mac. Now you notice, you saw the little green window flash up, uh, and down here there's no error message. Okay, so basically what happened is the program ran, and the program ended. So we need to add at the end WN.main loop, and this will keep the window open. So I'm going to save that, I'm going to run it again. And you can see we've got our basic window. So that's really all for part one. Just get to this point, make sure your window's set up, everything's working, and then next we'll go ahead and add the player to the screen. Okay, hope you come back. Thanks.